taking that side repeater on. That's not working. Lights are on. That one works. That one works. That doesn't work. And just the brake light works on that one. The brake light works as an indicator. Turn the lights off. I really need to look. I think you can see that. <laughs> it's not right. And my water and fuel's done as well. No. Break like fashion. Noise. To sort that out tomorrow. Right, that was eventful trying to take that out. That's hard work trying to get it past the front. The, the engine mount. Trying to get it through here it was an absolute chew on. So. Time to find out where this brick is. Right, so I've took the the wiring end from the front to the front to the back of the van. I've took it all out. Got some fine and stuff like this. And this. So I could go and buy a second hand wiring loom and have exactly the same problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it all, wire by wire, and I'm going to test everyone and fix quite a lot of it. There's a lot of the wires that um, I've already started cutting out and I've replaced a quite a lot. That's one of my pieces there. So I'll take the rest of the shroud off. I've got some cable ties. So what I'll do is where I've got things like the side markers running off. I'll cable tie it, or maybe he's even put a bit of tape around it so I know where they are and try and keep it all together. I've got the line diagrams. This is the stop lights, so I can revert back to this if we need to.
so I'm just going to do a resistance to make sure there's no resistance in the wires. Also, I'm going to these wires. They're numbered. So that's 334. So it doesn't. Um, the manual doesn't tell you anything about the colours, so I was a numbered wires, which is, it's good, and it has its downsides as well, because you've got to go through every one of them and check the numbers, and look up and down them, and some of the, the wires have um, been changed, and some of them, the, the writing's scrubbed off. So, we'll start this side, work our way down switch by switch. Two two eight three. Two two eight three. Two 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 seven. Two two eight three. Say that. From white, blue, white. There is resistance in that wire. Zero zero point one zero.
Is there about point one? Right, so I'm going to put the wiring loom back in, run it back up. Uh, that was hard getting it back through that chassis. Got an issue with the lights, lights still aren't coming on. As you've seen when I was in the, the garage and I was doing a continuity test uh, where your ohm's reading, I was getting a good reading. But I'll show you why. I'll put the power probe. Power probe's on now. down and we put it into into the yellow which is the, the headlights can you see that so I'm back probed into there the power probe shows that it's open but this is the coolest part of this put it down so you can see Let's see if it does it again Right, so we power probe, picks it up. Watch, I bend the wire, it's gone. Bend it back. It's not doing it, it was doing it before. Come on. I bend that wire. Somewhere in here. Somewhere around about here. I've turned it down. I've turned it down. Oops. Somewhere around about here. Watch if I bend it. It's making a liar out of me now. There. See, it's gone. There, it's gone. If I bend it, signal goes away. Bend it back. Comes back. So somewhere in there, it could be anywhere along here, because with me moving this, could be moving the wires back there. So when I was doing the continuity, uh, continuity, the ohms reading, and the garage, when it was all hung up, it's been connected, and as I've put the wire loom in, it's been disconnecting. Kills that. <laughs> I love it. Right, let's find where this wire is broken. So, I need to get it dead. That one's on. So, let's go on that side. Nearly four volts on and off. Oh, that's a long 
the passenger side. We're in the millivolt scale. So, something's not right. So, I've got the front check from. Right, so my next step was coming to the front where the, the connector's connected in, and we've got the same there. So, Pull the CT on the way. There's me connector down there. On there. Well, I'm back probed. Um, but we still have a, an issue with the lights not working. Um, I took the voltage from the rear lights and they were at like something like 700 millivolts. So something was dragging the, the voltage down. Um, and I took it at the front at the connector and that was still 700 millivolts so I pulled up a couple of diagrams um, so we got this is our hazard lights this one here and the wire number is 1123 that runs up to our connector and it's number 7 at the connector I checked it at the connector off camera I did that yesterday it was uh, too windy to film and I found I had uh, 5 volts here um, so what I did as I went back to the connector under the um, I'll show you I went back to this connector just have a look and see if I could see anything inside the connector and sure enough I did um, one of the pins was bent over touching another pin so I don't know how I've done it but there's like a plastic red um, like guide inside let's see if I can get this off one end two seconds yeah so there's a there's a red guide inside if you can see that just there that was bent over as well and it was damaged so I had to chip a bit of it chip a bit of it away, straighten that pin, put it all back together and all the lights started working bar the reverse lights so we'll have to do that today get the reverse lights to working and also um, I want to see if the fan works I got it up to temperature uh, when I did the, the fix in the water bottle and it's it says online around about 95 which I think is a bit high for the fan to kick in and I got it up to around about 94, 95 and I thought no I'm not going any further turned her off so I want to try and um, make something up for the, the temperature sensor see if I can get the temperature up see if the fan kicks in and uh, yeah let's uh, sort this Re reverse lights out first so let's do that now also I started putting the dash back together yesterday um, so anyway, reverse gear. That's in reverse. Put the ignition on. I've also, if you remember, I put the the reverse beeper thing. So that should be that should be working as well. So what I think might have happened is. We might have blown a fuse with that pin being over and shorted out. We'll, we'll probably, just have, probably just have blown a fuse. Right, so. We'll have a look on here, see. There, uh, reverse light. Uh, it's number 13. It's a 5 amp. Number 13, 5 amp. Number 13. There's number 13 there, number four cross, four cross. I'll get some nose pliers. Right. Let's have a look. I'm not putting this back together. 
can be it either. Still got the inside of the little box to do. Right, four cross. One, two, three, there, four. All in there. Come on, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's blown. Right, two seconds, I'll go and get another one. Right, so I've just got one. I'll stick that in. Let's see what happens. Don't turn it. Push on one. It's back in. No reverse light. Check that connector. I don't think I put it back together. I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't put the connector back together. Right. That's working. Yay. A light there. Oh, nice. Happy days, happy days. Right. I'll show you all the lights work. So, put the main lights on, we'll put the hazard lights on. Main lights, hazard lights. Oh, nice, nice. Right. Got to get these side lights working as well. Happy days, happy days. Right, let's attack that temperature sensor. <laughs> 